Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit that subscribe button right now and we'll get into the video. This right here is a very, very simple makeup look. I know my last video I posted was a simple makeup look, but I know for some people that was still a lot of steps. This is literally five steps. That's all I did was five steps for this makeup look. So this is a look inspired by someone who's rushing out the door, being it to go to work, to go to school, grocery shopping, whatever, and just wanna have a little bit of makeup on, but don't wanna take all the time and effort, or someone who is just getting used to makeup. They could be a teenager, they could be an adult, and just maybe never got into it, and just are not really sure where to start. So these are the basic of the basics here, which is, perfectly fine. We all need to start somewhere. So I hope this video inspires someone to maybe pick up that brush. All I did was use three brushes and five products. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to stop rambling. I tried to do this video quick to show how quick you can do it all. So I hope you enjoy, hope you subscribe and keep on watching. And while we're talking tutorials, can someone please send me a tutorial of how to do a cute messy bun? I've been on this earth almost 27 years, and I still can't do a cute messy bun. Even when my hair was long and thick and luscious, I can't do a messy bun. Someone help me. I look like a crackhead. So the first thing we're gonna wanna go in with is our concealer. I recommend using a medium to high coverage concealer here. This is going to double as our foundation. Now, the reason I'm not using foundation, like primer, foundation, and concealer is because this is a quick makeup look. I'm rushing out the door. I just don't want to feel like a dead zombie here. So this can, you can easily build it up, which I like. You're not having to do the layers of different products. So if you've got like dark under eyes or like me, got some acne going on, you can quickly just build this up rather than doing multiple products on your skin. So I just go over with all my concealer here and I'm using the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage. This is in high coverage and I just literally go all over my face with it. And the reason I kind of prefer doing a concealer as opposed to a foundation is because it's it gives you that coverage, but it's also pretty transparent. Now you can either use now a sponge. I'm going to use a brush. I just prefer that for my makeup. I feel I blend it out easier. Um, but yeah, so it gives me that coverage I want, but it's transparent. You can still see my skin and that's the whole thing. Like obviously if I want perfect, lovely skin, I'm going to use my primer, I'm gonna use a high coverage foundation, then I'm gonna go over and conceal, then I'm going to powder those areas. But the issue is then, I have way too blank of a canvas. I'm way too matte and too white, you know? And so I can't really, I kinda gotta go in and then create, create, can't talk this morning. I had to go and create all those shadows and those angles to my face. All right. Normally I would put moisturizer on underneath this to give my skin a little slip, but I forgot. So that took me honestly longer than it normally does, but but still, that's all I'm gonna do. I could go in and conceal these a little more, but I'm not going to, cause I don't really feel like it. But that already looks way better than it did before. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is my Milani blush in the color Rose Powder. I'm not gonna do any contouring. This is just a quick out the door look. Just go over the apples of the cheeks. I like to do it a little heavier than I normally would because I'm not doing um, contouring, bronzing, all that kind of stuff. Now the other thing I'm going to do, make sure you tap off excess for this. I'm gonna go over my forehead, down my nose, and a little on my chin. And this is kind of hitting me where the sun would. And that just kind of helps bring the color back into my face. Because if you just use foundation, if you just use concealer, 
you need you need to use the blush, the uh, the contouring, all that kind of stuff to give life to your skin. But since this is real quick and easy, blush just kind of does the trick for getting the life back in your skin. If you need a little more, build it up. That's the other thing. A little bit at a time until you get comfortable. Like me, I know I've been doing this so long on myself. I know exactly how much blush to use, how much concealer to use. But if you're just getting new to makeup, I mean, you could be 13, you could be 30, you could be 40, you could be even older. Like, I just want to now get into makeup. I just want to try it, you know. Start a little at a time because you'd much rather walk out of the house with not an, not enough makeup on than too, makeup, too much makeup and you look like a clown. So we're moving fast here because I want to show how quick you can do this. Ah, the baby's waking up. All right, I'm going to show you how easy this is because I'm going to do the rest one-handed so I can hold him because he just woke up and is going to be cranky if I put him down. So if you're just getting introduced to makeup, just playing around with it, or if you're yeah, just rushing out the door, pick one color. I suggest a neutral shade. This one's kind of a reddish brown neutral. And I'm going to take a little bit of my brush here. And I always start on the eyelid first, get it all over my eyelid. And then any excess left on my brush, that's what I kind of bring up and do windshield wiper motions on my brow bone. So see, I barely even did anything. And then if you feel like you got too much, you just take your fingers, smudge it around. The reason I suggest using a neutral shade for this is because it's just easier. If you need to, like I just did there, like, oh, got a little too much there, just kind of blend it around. If you have a bright blue or a bright purple and you smudge that, you got blue and purple like in your hair then all over your brow. So this just kind of gives you a little easier, um, a little more color with minimal effort and you're not making a mess of it then. Also, if you're just getting used to makeup, no matter what age you are, a neutral looks good on everybody. You want to be dark enough that it's going to show up. Like, don't pick a really, really pale brown. Just like a medium to light brown. Because if you're not sure what colors look good on you, you can definitely make yourself look a little clownish. Um, I'm not going to go into this video what colors look good on what eye colors and skin tones. And next, I'm going to go in now with my... Koki Cosmetics Mascara. I'm not curling my lashes or anything. I'm just getting this on. Some people watching this video may be like, well, duh, that is like minimum effort here. But you know what? Not everyone is comfortable with makeup. And I know sometimes even I watch the videos and I'm like, oh, I don't do enough. I don't, I don't bake every day. I don't put on false lashes every day. But that is okay. Some people, that's their job. That's literally their job is to look perfect all the time. That ain't my job. So I just put a lot, not a lot, but on my top lash there, I put some. Got mascara on my eyelid, wiped it off. And then I just do the outer corners there on my lower lashes. And then the last step, I'm going in with a nude gloss here. This is Morphe's Madison Beer in Mars. Again, if you're in a rush or just getting used to makeup, stick with the neutrals until you get comfortable with it. Again, sticking with the neutrals because if I make a little mistake and oh, I need to smudge some of that off, it's not gonna leave like a bright red stain there on my lip. How do I do? Did I do okay? <laughs> you're indifferent. All right, so that is it, guys. This is my finished look. This is not like, Again, this is not like, oh, going out with the girls, going out on the town, but this is at least something that you can do in, like, if I wasn't talking, I could have this done in under five minutes. Like, I could probably do this in two to three. But I was obviously talking how to get the kid and stuff. But this is just something, throw it together, super easy if you're rushing out the door or if you're just getting introduced to makeup just the basics to start out with. And then as you get more comfortable with like, okay, I got this routine down, I can do it in my sleep. 
okay, now maybe I'll try to add a little bit of eyeliner in, or maybe now I'll try a bolder lip or a bolder eye or try the contouring. Because I know when I first got started doing makeup, to do a full beat face would take me like an hour and a half because I'm like, wait, how do you do it? Darn it, I messed up. Now I got to start over. Whereas now I can do a full beat face, not necessarily with false lashes, but full beat face in like 20 minutes. So it's all about starting small and getting used to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and we hope to see you on the next video. Bye.